Hi there, I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. Uh, we're from Modwheel, and today we're going to have a look at the Lowdown, which is our new solo double bass library for Contact. Okay, so first off, we would go and find the Lowdown within our files. And the Lowdown's divided into two, the Basics and the Extended Bass. So we'll have a look at the Basics to start with. Go for the instruments, and you get three patches. Uh, an Arco bass with the uh, dynamics on the mod wheel. Anything with MW in the name means the mod wheel is going to do something. Uh, a pit space and a smoother pit space. So let's start with the Arco bass. So it's got a reverb and it tells you what the key switching is. There's a sustain with the uh, mod wheel dynamic on C5, which it defaults to. Then uh, D5 will give you a staccato. E5 and F5 will give you two expressive um, performance things. So let's have a listen, Steve. So that's the sustain. Just play a note, Steve, from holding one down. Just go take us through the mod wheel sweep on it. So onto the next. Got the staccato. Lovely. Um, yep, E5. E5 is a sort of shorter expressive playing, it's only one bow length, where the F5 will give you uh, two bow lengths. Uh, and they do have a slightly different tone, they're just two different performances, so it seemed worth giving both of them. Uh, it's got a reverb, you can turn it off or on and adjust the level. If you don't like our default reverb, you could of course go in and change it by just going into here and going to the send effects and the convolution reverb we've chosen. But of course you could just go and change it for any of the other convolution reverbs that come with contact or you could load your own IR and have your own one. But we've just set one for you to start with. Okay, onward. Uh, moving on to the pit, pit space. space. Pit space. Pit so the pit space has got, again, a simple interface. It's got a, a mic level and a line level, depending on the style or how how much you know, just the tone you're after. It's got a reverb which we we've left off at the moment. You could just write it up like that, uh, because often for us it, you don't need much reverb on the pit space, and especially if you use the mic level, there's a natural ambience. It's that's good anyway. Um, and the key switching, you get a uh, variety here, and C5 will just give you a sustain note. Uh, there's, um, I think, three round robins for each note and about four velocity layers um, for that one. Then D5 will just give you short, uh, a much shorter note for sort of faster articulation, faster performance or whatever. E5 will give you a semitone slide up, so if you played at note the note G, it'll slide from F sharp up to G. F5 will give you long slides up and down, often of a fifth from where you play the note. So if you played a D, it would slide from D in one direction or other. And then G5, we've uh, played a lot of harmonics and then chromatically laid them out. And also, as you can see down here, there's some extra notes, and they're the mute, uh, sort of just mute little sounds of the um, strings and things to give a, another um, yeah these sort of sounds just he's cooking he's cooking yeah. okay um, D5 will give you a much um, If you play hard, FF, for that lower octave, you'll get that real. real. And if you play it. Yeah. Okay, and uh, E5 is going to give you some slide-ups. So 
Oh, that's the semitone slide up. And, the, and then the long slides on E5. G5's harmonics. With the harmonics, we've made um, the envelope uh, a lot less attack on the line one. So if you want a sort of more with less attack, take the mic level. You take the mic level down and get a more quite a nice sound. Quite a nice. I think that you'd call that a very nice sound, Steve. And if you want more attack, you'd bring the mic level up. You could go and change the envelope yourself by going into here and doing that if you wanted to. Um, okay, I think that's everything on that, is it? Pretty much. Uh, and then there is a smoother patch of just um, just slightly different tonally, slightly more electric maybe, and it won't do the woody. Loud hit if you hit too hard. I'm in a dream. I'm in some sort of dream. That's the basic section of the mod wheel, the lowdown. If you would like, you could check out our demos at modwheel.co.nz to uh, hear the instrument in context. Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. Uh, we're from Modwheel, and this time we're looking at the low down extended bass, which is the second part of our solo double bass library for contact. So we'd open the low down, find there's two folders the basics, which we've already been through, and the extended bass. We'll open that. There's three folders. Uh, the Extended bass is divided into ambiences, impacts and single notes and rhythms. So let's start with the ambiences. And you get a bunch of pads starting organic to quite synthesized. So let's just say load the second one. Maybe just explain our naming protocol a little bit. Am, ambience, dit bass. Bass has been detuned um, down to, play that note still. Down to there. We've played. That's yeah. What do you? What's the that's word? A that's a sixth lower than your normal bottom E on a on a double bass. And then played from there on up. Yeah. Um, it's got a harmonic layer, harmonic one, which you can adjust, bring in and out using the mod wheel. So the harmonics is like a performance, minute long performance of bowed kind of harmonics of the same note as the as the low note and crossfade means that um, the low part's going to fade out as you bring the high part in. There are ver versions where that doesn't happen, this particular one, that's what's going to happen, so as demonstrated. It, here's what it sounds like. As you wind up the mod wheel, the original sample fades out and the new one fades in over the top of it. Play it down low, just let's hear one. So basically a beautiful organic kind of evolving pad. Now it's, it's got a couple of knobs here. Um, harmonic mod wheel layer, so these knobs just affect the, the harmonics that you're bringing in. It's got an attack envelope. If you wanted to adjust the envelope more than that, if we think the particular patch may you may want it, we'll have left this uh, box open with, if you use the spanner tool or the wrench tool depending where you're from. This box will be open and you could adjust the envelope however you want. You might want to turn the release up, but we personally didn't want that on the front panel because this looks good like this. We're giving you an attack knob. These, this drive will affect the. Yeah, let's hear that. Yep. 
could. Best to start both those at 10, work your way down, I reckon. Uh, there's a, okay, so we'll go, carry on through the patches. So there's, so, more, there's a few more of a, of a similar ilk. Different harmonic performance on top, maybe, or this one's a little more synthesized. We've affected both layers and, and made a new freeze. Frizz. Freeze. Out of the and then it's got a low cut and a high cut just so you get some choices to just yeah. more how much of that bottom end you want. Uh, same on the high cut as well. Yeah. Carrying okay. on. Let's so you get yeah, you get a choice of a bunch of those. Anything with mod wheel in the name, the mod there'll be a layer assigned to the mod wheel. Now we'll get to these ones down here, which doesn't have mod wheel in the name. Detune bass mallet tone. It's, oh. it's uh the detune bass played by a mallet and then using the tone machine function of contact, we've actually turned that into like a, a just a warbly keyboard sound. Mm. Steve. Yeah. Okay, it has a low cut and a high cut as well. Let's just again so you can play down. Yeah. See if you can come up with another nice one. Oh, I'm full of them. <laughs> you sure are. Uh, it's got an attack. So let's hear with the envelope. Oh, yeah, yeah. You might want to think for a sadder scene. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't think, sad. I'm feeling okay. quite good. Okay, well that's good. Let's move on. Um, so this one here, well, let's let's load this one here. And this is our original Detune Base experiment, um, but it was quite a successful experiment. So you get it with the library. Oh <coughs> 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 uh, yeah, original patch. Um, Cross phase with a high high pad. Now that high pad is about a four minute long performance. So what we've done is on the key switches um, from C up to G5, you'll go, it'll take you to different places in that higher part. Please could you show them, Steve? I can. So that's the, that's the so the mod wheel layer starting at C5. D5. Each one of those has a different start. And combined, you get. Yeah. Yeah, so effectively, the, the mod wheel layer is different with every, every key switch. Thank you. Onward. Another, um, the faux clavinet with a mod wheel. <laughs> That's good. Ah, I think here we'll jump down here. This one just labelled as harmonics. It's just the um, harmonics that will. Without the low part, just the bowed harmonics on their own. All right. And there was a starting point. So just. There's no mod wheel on these either. These are just the raw and the Basically, I just found everywhere. Say, play a, play a D, Steve. Say. Basically, kept retuning the bass until I could bow variations of D note all over the place on the bass, then layered those together. So it's got a kind of this, um, a paddy. Hard to know what, quite, how it was done. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. That is nice. And then we've given a variety of effects on that as well. Patches. Let's try this. So uh, that was lovely. Let's, if that was lovely, let's hear this one. Oh, so these have got various effects. Is that what you just said? It is what I said. Assigned to the mod wheel is a distortion. Okay, here's the one with the phaser.
quite a, just sort of a weird organ sound, eh? Well, not weird even, but just an organ sound. I just changed it. It's a rotary now. <laughs> oh. Get a rotary. <laughs> Remember that old chestnut? No, I don't. No. I like this one. Uh, play this one down low, Steve. This is good down low. Ah, oh, yes. Quite that low. If you'd like to hear any of these sounds played in a musical context, <laughs> go. Go and listen to some of our demos on modwheel.co.nz. Thank you. I'll, I'll carry on, Steve. <laughs> Wasn't interrupting, was I? Okay, moving on. What's this one? Hollow Fun. I have no recollection. Ah, I do. This is dedicated to... Stephen yes, Howe. This is R.I.P. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that was last minute. It's oh. full of surprises, this, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's good. Wop, wop. Wop, wop. If you yeah, button, ha. Button. You, here, go for it, Steve. Okay. When you load this, when you load this patch. Oh. Um, you'll hear it. You'll hear a sound as soon as you touch the mod wheel, or if you take the mod wheel down, it'll go away. It's designed to act like this, with the mod wheel bringing in, opening up the volume envelope. That's quite funky. Yeah, it's sort of who we are, really. God, we've only just finished the ambient. Ah. That's um, the ambient section of the extended bass. Yeah. The lowdown. Let's Have go. Have got time for this? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Moving along. <coughs> Moving right along. Okay, we're on to... Impact and single notes. We'll okay, try and pick the pace up a little bit. There we are. So. There's a bunch of patches there. Let's load that first one. Impact, bass, mallet, high. This is a, a, the bass played with a mallet just in its normal register. Not too much to say about that really, Steve. Okay. And then this one is when the bass has been detuned, you get some And then again. Yeah. And then there's a, a similar one to that. Uh, Actually can you play that one? Can you play it put that other one in please? Yes, this is another variation on that, but up the top it does have some Ricochets, I think they're called, Steve. Mm. <laughs> Man. I was in a convertible. <laughs> you were grooving, eh? Driving around a windy road. On oh, the coast. Yeah. yeah. Where were we? Oh yeah, next one. Didn't load. Next one is it's just a bunch of uh, thing using the mallet playing sounds on the bass. It's not chromatic. It's just it's very it's sounds. Really nice sounds though. Yep. Okay. So that's what that is. And then following that is chopstick, which is played with a chopstick. Has, oh, a it has a delay on it, which you can have or not. And up high, again the ricochet. And then we have uh, the high, it's tuned up. I thought that was kind of cool. Mm, liking it. Yeah, and this, this got the delay as well. Oh, 
round robin zombies. Okay, next. Oh, I was enjoying that. Yeah, I know you were. Um, double base does oh. some drum kit. Which is kind of a, basically a kit just made out of uh, various elements. There's brushes as well at the top here. Uh, where are we? That's um, cool. All done with a double bass, just but uh, whatever. And another one. This is all uh, distorted. Excellent. Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay. Carrying on down. What do you got there? Staccato effect. Oh, that's very simple. Oh, yeah, just some miscellaneous mm. oddness. Uh, and then again, some more miscellaneous oddness, various ah, like dooks, and clicks and clicks. And then there's extra, extra, yep, thanks, extra <laughs> wood hits here, um, which are more, sort of, again, more similar sounds, um, but different. And then... This just now. Slap bass with a release that it's got a delay on it and shit. <laughs> Such feel, eh? It's <laughs> awesome. Hang on one moment. <laughs> Come on then, redeem yourself. <laughs> Okay, the next folder we come across is a rhythmic one. So we'll load, uh, as you can see, again, there's uh, various patches. We'll start with the top one because it'd be interesting to know what it was. What is it, Steve? It's the rhythmic bass oh. bow. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, these are nice. This is um, just ha bowed harmonic playing across the, sort of across all four strings. You can get a nice rhythmic thing happening. And so uh, this is BPM, it'll play to any tempo. It sounds like this. It's got a high pass, so because some of the best stuff is the lower, but you don't necessarily want all that bottom end. So yeah, it's a good feel. Oh. And then there's another part of it up high, a bit out of time there. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I'm enjoying it, but um, we have to go. Um, so then there's another one of those. Uh, Two more that were done. They're not BPM, they are just the performances. Don't bother loading those, right. Steve. Okay. Another one, a variation. Oh, no, load that one. Let's load this next one because they're blimmin' nice. It'd be nice to hear them again, wouldn't it? It would. It's been a wee while. Oh, this has got some. Yeah, the other one had a high pass on it as well, actually. I meant mean to mention it. Again, BPM matched, and there's another one of those. Uh, then there's the one that which is uh, has, is an arpeggiator. Here's the tractor outside; it's just mowing the estate. Oh yeah! Oh, that's. Time lapse of ants devouring a moth, big moth, <laughs> <laughs> or a small lizard, or an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an ice cream. It's true. Mm. Some of them would be quite stuck. <laughs> it's that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've been there. <laughs> it was good. I, li- I liked it. You can have too much of a good thing, though. Okay. What's this one? Oh, these are uh, mallet on the bass playing uh, a quarter note, an eighth note, and a sixteenth note, like over a very octave. So here's a quarter note. <laughs> they are, aren't they? They're really. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There we get the we get the picture. Thank yep. you. Next. What's this one? Um, this is uh, a bass mallet with an arpeggiator. Oh, I like this. I think this is. Um, one. This one's got a phaser, which you can turn on or off. Oh, Steve, you need to tighten that knob. I do. I need the wrench or the spanner, don't I? What's happening? Um, so there's the tab for your arpeggiator. You can adjust that, obviously. Uh, what the rate is, for example, we can take that down to eighth notes, which is actually rather nice. We can up the swing. Uh, we can change the note order too, which is always good. We go back to sixteenths. That's very nice. Okay. Anyway, um, where else are we? What's that one? A bass uh, mallet delay. Uh, it's just a, yeah. It's just got uh, a delay. Okay. Yeah. You can alter. It's boring it after it. the last yeah, one. Yeah, it is really. Yeah. Obviously. No, but I just want to... No, you one. don't. Do uh, like good. Yep. Okay. Here's a rhythm chop, rhythm uh, feel. The, so this is like little fast performances. Excuse the tractor outside again. No mod wheel, just. Uh, and I think it's a different. Yeah, a few different places that work together. So it's tempo mapped. <laughs> slightly oh, it's just the one yeah just the okay, right. ah chopsticks is a rhythm Yeah. Um. 
song. Or That's that. cool. <laughs> it was. Cool. Yeah. What else we got? Okay, I don't know. These ones often are worth trying at much much slower tempos as well. And then there's the slap bass with the arpeggiator on it, which is which is nice too. Play, play, lay some funky um, shit down for us, David. Oh yeah. No, but you can see all these uh, instruments in context by going to our website modwheel.co.nz where you can see a video of the various techniques employed but actually all the sounds from the sampler and Here's also the there are some audio demos as you well. You can listen to um, Love Don't Live Here and Love. Love. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Hmm.